It's actually getting harder to find well-made cables because there are so many cheap ones out there. I've been using Ernie Ball for for 40 years, they are always well-made cables from this company. Because XLR is low impedance, it will reveal problems if the cable is cheap, I actually proved that theory in my home music production studio. I used this cable in a church sound installation and it is rock solid. This cable is super slick. I am using it to attach a Shure SM7B to a Go XLR and so far I've had no issues. Cable is flexible enough to root through mic arm, and flexes plenty when the arm is folded away. The locking ends feel sturdy and don't feel like they could easily fall out. The braiding is nice, it matches with most other braided cables and feels like it could stand up to some movement. For the record, I've been using Ernie Ball products my whole musical career and they remain a trusted brand for me personally. This is the first time I tried their XLR mic cable, and this is another good example of their integrity. I like that it is tangle resistant. Mic cords of the past never seem to wrap up nicely, well this one does. Also does feel durable and you can step on without destructing it. Stamped, roadworthy. Solid male and female connectors. The sound is quite due to the dual shielded design produces low to no noise. Nice. I like to keep myself on a short leash in the studio, so 20 feet is sufficient for my personal and professional needs. A note on the packaging. I love the pink and black marketing on this one. Looks sweet like candy and sounds sweet too. I'm very familiar with Ernie Ball accessories. I've bought plenty of their guitar and bass strings before. Always good quality. Microphone cables are something you can never have too many of. In terms of simply specs, I like that this one is 20 feet. Gives you lots of flexibility if you're moving around live, and I love that it's white. If you're doing a live show, and you're breaking down, cables get mixed up. People leave with other people's cables, lots of performers color code their mic cables with colored tape. Not needed with this, white stands out, looks classy, too. This is nice and heavy, shielded, of course, and in preliminary use, recording. I haven't used it on stage yet, no noise. Click link in description for more reviews.